Hi, this is Gosia Seafeld from Signage Rocket. In this video, I'll be demonstrating step by step how quick and how easy it is to display an engaging content on your small displays. With Signage Rocket, a cloud based digital signage platform, it all takes seconds, whether that's a simple image, a video, or the most complex data driven custom solution. Also, you'll be able to remotely control all of your displays from one single dashboard all in real time. So let's crack on. Signage Rocket consists of two main parts, Rocket Player and Rocket Manager. Rocket Player is simply the application that runs on your smart display, in this case, Samsung QBN series. This is a smart display with embedded system on chip, SOC for short, so no additional media players are required. And the beauty of using Signage Rocket together with an SOC display is the fact that you get a professional digital signage solution, but at the same time, that's extremely easy to use. On top of that, with Signage Rocket, you don't need to set up any servers. It's all taken care of. So let's go through the installation process. So depending on the device type, the installation process is slightly different. However, with Signage Rocket, it all takes seconds. All you need to make sure of is that you have the power and the internet. So in this case, with Samsung SOC display, we need to press the home button first. And at the very bottom of the display, you'll see a menu. What we need to do is click on the URL launcher and then input the URL to Rocket Player, which is https samsung.signagerocket.com. And once we've done that, Simply press done and Rocket Player will be installed on your small display. So that's it. The player is already installed and ready to communicate with the Rocket Manager. So hello again. We now have our Rocket Player installed on our display and now we're going to the Rocket Manager where we'll be able to control the display remotely and assign content. So what you can see here is a list of all the displays that I've got already connected. Um, to add this display to the list of devices, I simply add display and put the code, the code that I can see on the display, which is 34, 2. And if I had multiple devices that I would like to pair at the same time, I would use the multi pairing function, but I only have one. So I just simply put one code in and straight away, the display has been connected and it's ready to, for us to control it. So what I can see on the main screen is uh, four displays now. The one that I've added is at the very bottom. It's Samsung Tizen 4.0 and I've got access to all the real-time monitoring. I can see its temperature, disk, RAM, CPU usage. I know whether the software running on it is up to date and whether the connection is fine. And so what I'm going to do, I will uh, give my uh, display a name. I call it main display. And then I've got access to control settings. So for example, I can change its orientation. I can uh, adjust its brightness. So just as an example, if I change it to portrait, the screen will simply rotate. And maybe I change the brightness. I want it higher. That's it. And then I've got a schedule. I've got time settings. So if I wanted to save energy and put my display to sleep at certain times, I can do it all here remotely without uh, the need of remote control. So I've got all the device details as well, all the hardware uh, specific details. And now I'm ready to assign content. So in order to assign content to your screen, we need to go to the App Store. And App Store is where all our digital signage applications are, and they allow you to display beautiful, engaging, dynamic content on your screens without uh, any design skills. Also, you can do it really quickly in a matter of seconds. So let's start with the first application. Uh, let's put some weather forecast on the screen. I click on the weather app, give my app a name. I call it London Weather. London, UK, and then enter location. If 
from Google Maps. And once um, the location has been chosen, a live preview has been generated, so I know exactly how the application uh, will look on the screen, whether that's landscape or portrait mode. And then I can adjust how the application will look on the screen. So from dark, I can go to a light mode. I can add some background images, for example, make it abstract. And then I can add active corners. Active corners allow you to display some extra information. For example, to the bottom right of my application, I'm going to add a current time. Let's press save. And now the application has been created and what's left is assigning the app to the screen. So I simply go back to the displays view, click on the display and click on London weather. And that's it. The application is on the screen. So now we've got some great looking content on our display. Let's put something different now. Let's go with our news app. To do that, I'm going back to the App Store, click on the Sky News, and Sky News is the application that allows you to create a dynamic feed from different categories. For example, it could be a UK, world, US business. Uh, we're going to use technology feed. I give my app a name, technology, and the live preview is automate, automatically generated for me for both landscape and portrait mode. What I can do as well, I can add active corners. So to the bottom of my app, I'm going to add weather this time. So London weather. So now in the corner, I've got a little icon showing the current uh, weather. Also what I can do is I can change the animation. So for example, the slide duration, I can add a nice fade effect and the speed. So I press save, go back to my displays, and now I'm going to assign this application to all of my screens. So I select them all and choose technology. And now all the screens will be showing Sky News uh, technology. Uh, and what I can see here again is the live preview uh, from each of my displays. So I'm always 100% certain that the screens are online and showing the right content. Let's go to the next app. So now let's display some images and videos on our display. To do that, I need to first upload my assets. So I go to files and I'm going to upload both videos and images at the same time. So the videos that I'm uploading, they very high quality 60 frames per second videos. So once uh, my assets have been uploaded, um, onto Rocket Manager, I go to the App Store, choose Image and Video Gallery, give my app a name, I call it My Gallery, and simply pick the files that I want to show. So this time I will be only showing images. And straight away, once I've chosen the files, I can see a live preview of how the application will look on the screen. I can again adjust um, some of the settings like slide display time. I will add some fade animation and um, adjust the speed. Uh, I press save and then uh, my application has been created. I already have three apps under my apps. Go back to displays and select uh, the display, assign up my gallery. And straight away, what the screen is doing is downloading all the assets. So say in case there was a problem with internet, you don't need to worry about that. There won't be any black screens because all the assets are already on the device. So now I'm going back to the uh, application, my gallery, and say I will change the animation to a different type. So for example, slide left. And as soon as I've done that, it's a smooth change. Uh, it's all happening in real time, um, very intuitive. And now let's put some videos there. So I'm removing all my files and let's add two videos. As I say, said, they are high quality videos. Press save and the videos will start appearing on the screen as soon as they have been downloaded. Um, so that's it, the video is there, and the smooth 
the, all the playback is really smooth, it's gapless, you won't see any uh, black transitions or anything like that. And that's it. Really quickly and easily I managed to show images and videos on my display. So now, time for mixed content. To play the mixed content, what I simply need to do is go to the playlist, add new playlist, give my, uh, my playlist a name, call it playlist one and I simply choose the application that I previously uh, created and give them the duration. Press save, go back to the displays, select the display that I want the playlist to play and uh, rather than assigning an app I'm simply assigning a playlist. That's it, I'll have a weather app, sky news and then my images and videos showing on the display. So these have been just a couple of examples of applications and functionalities just to get you started with Signage Rocket. If you'd like to see the full demonstration of the platform or maybe you'd like to see how to deploy your own code to the screens, get in touch. Thank you for listening.